What's going on YouTube? Matt from Garage MC here. Today, I got a whole bunch more stuff in for the 400X. We're not going to start this thing until I have every single piece. It's what I've always wanted to do for a long time. Get everything and just do it all at once like a big box of Legos. But I laid it all out. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Check out the new hat. It's not available yet, but you guys let me know if you like it. And maybe we can work something out. Let's go check out the parts I got. Stick around. All right, guys, we're making headway. I got the old stuff off. Not quite sure, but I'm going to do with it yet. I got so many boxes to take care of, but let's start at the front. Not sure if I like this bumper or not, but, you know, there it is. I bought it anyway. We got the new Mayer, or Meyer, however you want to pronounce it, front race plastics. Brand new, gloss black. Pro Taper high, high ATV bars. Uh, different color pad. We got the ODI lock on grips. Brand new OEM gloss black gas tank cover and check out this cap guys check out this gas cap that thing is sick looking you can see through it the uh the little uh vent breather hose is in the box still we got the lone star steering stem that came with the quad uh the riser clamp lone star as well we got the hauser or yeah hauser i wish lager a arms uh they're plus two plus ones i believe i found a set of used elka legacy stage three front shocks um there's the other lager a arms or elkas i'm sorry elka suspension i ordered yfz two piston front brake calipers for it i think they're i forget what year i think it's like 04 05 they bolt right on to the 400ex we have all of the uh stainless steel hardware for the whole engine ordered brand new stainless steel pinch bolts for the back of the swing arm where the axle carrier goes stainless steel head studs both sets obviously um i bought a black um anodized aluminum case saver but i think i'm gonna switch to getting all the drw stuff for the whole quad uh we also have the air scoops i bought these for my last 400x and i never put them on i completely forgot about them to be honest with you but there they are i may or i may not run them not quite sure yet sorry my finger just got in the way of the camera <laughs> hello uh bearings steering stem bushings or bearings and bushings uh we got the front uh wheel hubs for the front hubs all the bearings for that brand new linkage bearings for the linkage obviously pivot works um the for the pivot bolt for the swing arm brand new we got a 0405 450r carburetor obviously my manual not that i really need it much anymore but you know it's always good to have uh, the, the subframe is here. Here's the stock shock that came on the quad. I am not going to run this. I'm just putting it out here for visual purposes only. Um, I'm going to be getting a, an Elka rear shock to match the Elka fronts that I have now. We got a brand new pivot bolt. Uh, I actually bought another one of these, so I have an extra one, guys. I'm going to see if I could fit grease zerk fittings um, into the ends of this tube, considering that it's... Uh, let me see if I can... These tubes are hollow, so I want to know if maybe I can put small holes where the bearings go and where it goes through the case and be able to pack it with grease because if you guys seen the other videos I posted about this pivot bolt, it was a nightmare and I actually don't even have it unstuck from the cases yet. It's a, it's a big problem. Uh, I don't want to crack the cases and have to buy cases or another engine or anything like that, even though I already did. It's on its way here. It'll be here in a little bit. If I'm still shooting this video, by the time it pulls up, I'll show you guys the other engine that I bought. All right, so like I said to you guys, uh, I just had to edit this part that you're watching in now because uh, the engine that I bought didn't show up yet, but it did just get here about an hour ago. So let me edit this in for you guys so you can see. Um, if you remember when I was taking this quad apart, the pivot bolt, it, it is so seized in there and, and it's just like, I, I could drill it out and everything, but you know, I, I'd rather just keep this around or whatever obviously i'll get to it one day and figure out what to do with it but i mean it's it's pretty bad in there guys i can't even describe how stuck this thing is i'm gonna have to either drill it out or take it to a machine shop or something but it is totally seized to these metal sleeves that go into the case halves themselves which is what i thought from the beginning when i if you guys watch the other videos i mean i had this whole i had the whole quad in the press trying to get that thing out of there and it would not budge one inch it actually damaged the frame a little bit when i did it so 
you know, it is what it is. But I got to be careful not to show you guys the quad that's right there behind the camera because that's the quad. You got to guess the the um the, the make, the model, and the CC size to win the 440 kit for a 400EX. If you guys think I'm joking, go ahead and take a guess at it. If you guess it right, you'll get put in the drawing and you'll win it for free. I'll ship it right to your door. No questions asked. You just got to subscribe and guess the quad right. But this is what just pulled up. 99 to 04, 400X. And guys, this thing is clean. Um, the person I purchased this from actually parts out 400EXs and he hasn't opened it. He doesn't, it did run. He knows that. Um, he's actually got a lot of the other parts. We uh, just actually became friends. Um, Alec, if you're watching, appreciate you. Thank you very much. But we might have lucked out, guys. Uh, see if I can get some light in there. Uh, let me see if I can tip this up so you guys can see in here. The head is ported and polished, which, I mean, I'd rather it not be. But you never know. We might have got lucky. We might have gotten maybe like a Henson basket or maybe there's some good stuff in the head. Or, I mean, I don't even know what size it was bored to, if it was, if it's stock or what. But, um soon coming up here this week i actually bought a set of cases too to replace for the other engine with the stuck pivot bolt and then i found this complete engine so you know it is what it is it's not like i'm against having extra parts here <laughs> that's for sure as far as you guys know if you ever watched the other video this is all 400x parts all 400x parts 400x frame 400x uh stuff for a different quad that you guys don't know what it is yet 400x parts you know that's just i got so much stuff i don't even know what to do with it all guys but you know we'll just keep making quads i guess whatever probably got enough stuff to build you know 10 400x's in here what's going on guys sorry for the interruption but if you've made it this far in the video i just want you to know that i appreciate you and you might as well just subscribe since we're obviously into the same thing so back to what we got going on here here's the linkage that's uh what the linkage bearings go for uh that exhaust i'm not using it the exhaust that i purchased is not in yet uh, as soon as it does come in i'll show you guys what it is i'm not going to tell you what what brand i got yet if you think you know what brand i got put it down in the comments section help your boy out get this video pumping new billet dual row bearing carrier uh this is an ebay carrier i haven't had any problems with them guys and for 50 dollars shipped you really can't beat it i have a third yfz two piston front caliper uh, when we get the quad together, I'm going to see if I can remake a bracket and have a two-piston caliper on the rear of the quad as well. I think that would be pretty trick. The uh, adjustable rear axle, got that, brand new. Uh, came a little oxidized, but I talked to a powder coater, and um, I'm going to be bringing my stuff up to the powder coater and seeing what we can get done. So I'm um, trying to see if they'll let me film the whole process. So if you guys want to see that, throw a thumbs up down there and just write powder coating in the comment section. And I will do my best to make it happen so you guys can see how they do all that stuff. Uh, in a minute, I'll tell you what we're going to get powder coated and what colors we're going with. Anyway, back to the parts. We've got the Mayer or Meyer rear plastics. Gloss black as well. You guys wanted the whole quad gloss black and polished aluminum and a little bit of chrome here and there. So that's what we're doing. And I bought a brand new OEM Honda black seat, seat pan, the whole the whole thing. Brand new, guys. Still in the little uh, oversized hairnet that it comes in. I think it's going to look sick. And we got a Alba Racing grab bar. And I know on the 400EX the grab bar is part of the subframe, but I am going to cut that off of there and we're going to make a custom subframe. I have an extra subframe too just in case we mess up. But I think that'll be pretty trick. That's why I was saying I don't know if I'm going to run this bumper. I might be running a bumper like the one on the 426 that matches this rear grab bar, uh, Alba Racing 1. So, let's see here. Parts that we're going to get powder coated are going to be the frame. We're going to get the frame powder coated, subframe powder coated, the A-arms, uh, the engine side covers, like the uh, clutch cover and the flywheel cover, those are going to get powder coated. I'm not sure what colors yet. Um, the whole quad's going to be black and polished aluminum looking, but I think I want to throw a little bit of red here and there. Like, not the engine cases. They're going to probably be black, but 
Uh, as far as powder coating the frame and everything, that's going to be gloss black. Uh, I might do a little bit of gunmetal gray or, or silver to match some of the polished aluminum. But <clears throat> guys, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. So far, this is what you guys wanted. The uh, 440 Big Bore Kit, 89 millimeter with an 11 to 1 compression piston. We're not using that, guys. If you haven't seen the video about the giveaway for this yet, you should go check it out. I'm going to give the whole kit away. comes with the gaskets, the piston, the cylinder. Do a whole one package deal here. If you guys can guess what the other quad that I bought, which I actually might get rid of, I'm not sure yet. Because I really don't have room for it, especially with the other 400EX build going on right now. Watch the video. I'll put the link in the description and put your guess on what year, what make, and what size the uh, CC is on the other quad that we got. And you guys can get entered in to win the 440EX Big Bore Kit. So, check it out. As always, throw me a thumbs up. If you guys are appreciating or liking these videos, please consider subscribing. We're doing a lot of things with the channel. We got stickers made. I'm looking at getting some merch. So show your boy a little love. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Peace out.